the game, because obviously, if it gets to 50, it's... Oh, there we go. There we go. So we are going to do Korea. Conics worth engineering, of course. Is that my only ship? Yeah, I think I picked that one because it's got best grip and structure. I know I'm like. Right, I'll be right back in a sec and then we'll get this game rolling. Centaur flying. We ain't got any power ups yet, so we've got none of that. I'm pretty sure. Unlockable level 3. So, our next event is a pure time attack. Okay, so let's try it. Don't expect me to be any good at this game. <laughs> right, here we go. if you get used to it to be fair. I think we played this entire game without knowing about the functionality of the right stick.
Oh, we did have a boost. That was probably a bad time to use it. You can strafe, or you can decide to do what I'm doing and just boost out the corners. Oh, that was so close. I reckon I can redo that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're gonna retry that. Now I know what I'm doing. time I miss that boost. Not always that one though. Hey, we managed it. Oh god, this lap bounced off walls left, right, and centre. There we go, we kind of boosted away from that one. Okay. So you can make this. Oh my god, this is just the, the slowest vehicle. You can imagine this boosting technique being a bit of a nightmare for higher vehicles. This is the slow vehicle as all the start. I'm 
never gonna remember that where I stick ability. Especially if I've got a time trail like I've got on this one. I feel like I took that one a bit easier. Definitely took that one a little bit easier. Yeah, level three. Right, so. There's people that have done quicker times, but I assume they've got better vehicles. But that's fine. We don't need to get on top of the leaderboard, we just need to get gold. That's how I operate. Pilot level has increased to three, unlock power ups. Here you can purchase and install power ups on your ship. Active power ups need to be manually fired during the raids. Passive power-ups give your ship some special traits. You can install one active and one passive power-up at any given time. You can also spend money to upgrade your power-ups, making them sensibly more effective. So can I have one power-up at a time? Boost. Wow. Well, that looks that sounds good actually. That sounds good for me. Ha ha ha. AMP Velasco also sounds good. Well, we haven't... Oh, we have got the money for them. Okay, I was going to say, well, we haven't got the money for them, so we don't need to worry about it yet. Oh, we actually have got the money for them. Enhanced respawn device. Well, we don't want to have to respawn them. Anyway. I kind of like overloaded energy turbine. I'll be honest. Because thinking of it, It basically lets me boost, boost while I go into corners quicker, so I can boost out of the walls and whatnot, because that is going to be my driving style, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. grip, especially with how I drive. Getting all the achievements. I feel like upgrading the passive is a small sensible idea. Oh. There we go. So my energy recharge bet rate and improves my turbo boost. It's 
next race is going to actually be a race. Given how you drive, is there an option for blades on the vehicle or perhaps turf match? Mulching. Unfortunately, no. For how I drive, there is not that option. Unfortunately. I did look for it. There, there was a shield to stop you from bouncing off walls as much, but that was about it. I do feel like they need to add that in every game I play on. Technically, in Forza Horizon 4, you can actually have a tractor. There is a Top Gear tractor, which is weird. So we've got five opponents, two laps. And they all crashed into each other straight off the bat. use my um, actual power up. Yes, it's not. Oh, wow. Oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Didn't even know this existed. Yeah, it's making me worse. First lap on the first one, on the time trail. Funnily enough, the other centaur only got 221. Oh, apparently, I somehow didn't even put my active in. Oh, can I only have one or the other? No, oh, no, I can have both. So the reason I wasn't firing off that ability was because... I decided not to equip it. Right, so this is my centaur. Can I upgrade my centaur? Or... Oh, there we go, upgrades. I feel like it needs a little bit of acceleration and max speed, somehow. <laughs> Other than that, I think it's alright. So 
So we got another smooth time attack. So the gold time is 45 seconds. Whew. This will be fun to attempt. Don't know how I'm going to get 45 seconds in any track, but... I'm hoping it's a shorter track or else we've got no chance. Integrity is not taken. Okay, I blew up. <laughs> figure out how I actually use my um... Three, two, one, go. ability. some kind of um, shield. Let's see now where the last one went.
High voltage. <laughs> I'm gonna blow it up on this one. 46 seconds is insane. I feel like I need some more upgrades to be able to manage that. Congratulations, silver medal awarded. I need to know how to uh, use that manual ability. So, options. How do we use our manual power up? Our power up is X. like going for our, you know, energy ball. I feel like grip might stop us from going into the wall as much. I don't know, we're gonna find out, that's for sure. So, I'm still going for that time attack. <laughs> to won't allow me to do any power ups. I see, that's Three, why. Two, one, go. That's why the power up's not working. Because I'm not allowed power up. Every time I always miss that boost. I keep blowing up this shit. Oh. And I keep somehow missing this bloody boost up here. It's probably what I need.
silver medal awarded. Right, so. Guessing passive ones aren't even allowed. If it's a pure race. So it's only going to be upgrades for our ship that actually count. You know what? We've got one more upgrade, which might help. So, we're not sure how that's useful, but good job on upgr fully upgrading a class 1 ship. It's just how I play games, I guess. Uh... Again, I am determined. We'll call this the last attempt to try and get that time event. And we'll see what event is after that. Change my control of this. Three, two, one, go. Oh, okay. Sometimes I can in this one is gonna make any difference. In the background you may hear Emma surrender. So 
The best, the best ship for this would probably be that, but it's gonna explode pretty much instantly. And then there's the Vanguard, which apparently is even better. But the structure on all, every single one of them is awful. So I don't feel like I'm gonna do very well with them. I feel like that's gonna be the time trial ship. Vanguard. This one is slow, it's probably not even supposed to be used for. Total race centered five. Okay. Does that count all my redos? Let's do the Kamsin string race. Since we're fully upgraded, we may as well take advantage of it. Ah, so it's a pure race, so we don't have boots again. Which is great, because every time I miss the actual boosts. Oh my god! Okay, that was bad. There was a building there. I didn't notice that until I crashed into it. not take so much damage. God damn it that con is awful. We still won, we still came first. Congratulations, gold medal track is even crazier. Yeah, so look, the Vanguard Vanguard was piloted by the worst. And he was right up behind me, so that must be the best ship for time trails. The pilot level has increased to five. So let's buy our ship that's going to explode a lot because it's going to be our time trail ship. So there we go. Now unlock the vanguard. And we are going to try it. What the hell is last one standing? Ah, oh, stay ahead of the track. Okay. We're going to try this. It'll probably explode as soon as we leave the start line, so I'm not expecting this one to last long at all, given how I drive.
feel like this is the fast lap. There you go. God damn it, we missed it. by like a fraction of a second. Not damn it. we got gold. Our time trial ship has proven itself. Whew. And we're in the top 4,000, Jesus. Someone did manage it in an unspecced centaur. Well. I'm not that good. And here is a new. What's up? What? Me. You've been streaming for how long? Who's been streaming for how long? Yeah. And here is a new. You're already here. Ah, you are. You're here now. Right, so next one's last one. Saturday. Oh! Oh, it's nice to know that I'm not the only one that cuts the grass. Well, you are. No one's seen you cut the grass yet. Given how you drive, is there an option for blades under the vehicle? Or perhaps turf munching? Oh, that's a while ago. I think it's gone now. Oh. <sighs> so, if you're ready, I can end. Yeah. So this has been Erin from Variety Games UK and this has been my weird r racing Jack day Munchen. that Munchen. has um, been three different racing games. The first one was quite a failure, second one um, I'm at a really hard part so I couldn't get any further, third one I started again so this has been Erin from Variety Games UK and this has been Assetto Corsa. Riptide GP2 Renegade. I know that's sailing. Red out. Thank you for watching and happy <laughs> gaming. <sighs>